Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nicole makes a close to home admission to Marlena while Constantine perceives John, however from where? In Kayla's office, Chanel sits with an eager Paulina who simply needs a remedy so she can move on. Kayla says that a biopsy is needed first because the first test showed that her thyroid level was low. Additionally, there are a few enemy of thyroid antibodies in her blood. This implies her body is making her thyroid organ not function as effectively as it ought to. It is a condition that affects a lot of people, especially women over 50. On the off chance that it's not disease, Paulina asks why she really wants a biopsy. Given she most likely has Hashimoto's thyroiditis, Kayla grasps Paulina's suspicion over a biopsy. Yet, there is plausible that thyroid disease cells could exist together with this condition. She might want to preclude it. Chanel persuades her safe mother to have the test. Nicole apprehensively meets with Marlena in her office for a treatment meeting. In the wake of suggesting the glaring issue at hand of Marlena being Eric's mom, Marlena affirms she likewise lost a kid, to SIDS, and she asks how Nicole feels. Nicole breaks down and says that she longs so much to hold her son, care for him, and love him. Nicole discusses how terrified she was the point at which she originally got pregnant, dreading she'd lose the child. She even considered having an early termination, however just briefly. She realized it very well may be Eric's, and she wouldn't deny him of being a dad. She adores EJ, yet she actually thinks often about Eric and misses him. In her heart, she maintained that the child should be Eric's. In the square, Leo happens upon Sloane, Eric, and Jude. He flaunts his new duds and dreams over the sort of house he needs to purchase. Sloane looks at him with wide eyes. At the point when Leo requests to address his lawyer, Eric takes off with Jude to get a few tidbits. Sloane gives him her visa when Eric acknowledges he left his wallet at home. Leo spouts to Sloane more than her $30,000 limit charge card and his redesigned suite at the Salem Motel. She ponders when this will end. Leo responds when she returns Jude to his real mother. He runs through every one of the expensive things he intends to purchase, yet Sloane brings up she has no reserve funds, is as yet taking care of her graduate school credits, and is living in a studio loft. Leo suggests that she rent a smaller apartment in a less desirable area so that he can live the way he intends to. However, not to stress. By returning to his Lady Whistleblower column, in which he will reveal town secrets, he will make a financial contribution. Utilizing a stick, Constantine limps to a seat in the recreation area. From behind, somebody leaves him with a needle and puts a hood over his face. Afterward, Constantine sits attached to a seat in a basement. A hand pulls off his hood. Constantine squints, zeroing in his eyes on Steve, who scowls over him. From a close-by seat, John shoots a steely glare. Steve reminds Constantine he requested him to leave town and to remain the damnation away from Maggie. Constantine asserts that he attempted, but his ankle is extremely swollen. Steve hits the stick at it, making Constantine jump. Steve again arranges Constantine to leave the nation and at no point ever see Maggie in the future. Constantine will do nothing of the sort. You can push off, he yells. John menacingly gazes. Johnny carries cakes to Chanel and Paulina as they stand by in the clinic entryway. Subsequent to getting Johnny's consent, Chanel lets her restless mother know that Johnny is a disease survivor. He attributes the survival of his life to early detection. Paulina is glad for him, however she is positive she doesn't have disease. Even though Chanel has a positive outlook, it's best to make sure she stays around for a long time. Paulina guarantees her little girl that she'll not go tenderly into that goodbye. As Paulina goes in for her biopsy, Johnny and Chanel choose to remain at home for a calm New Year's Eve. She says thanks to him for being there for her today. There's no place else he'd prefer be, guaranteeing her Paulina will be fine. In Marlena's office, Nicole lamentably concedes she was frustrated the child wasn't Eric's. Assuming that he were, it would be an indication that they were intended to be together. Marlena inquires if she would have stayed with EJ. Nicole is aware that she should absolutely not respond, but she is unable to. 
she paces as she understands how ludicrous it is a result of how much has changed from that point forward. She quit being frustrated, however, when she perceived how energized EJ was tied in with raising the child with her. If not for the auto collision, their child would be alive. She cries. Marlena inquires about Nicole's next thought process. Nicole realizes she's honored with a caring spouse and a great little girl. She needs to zero in on Holly and give her some solidness. She realizes Holly will be living all alone soon. Consequently, she desires to spend this time with her. Holly is her satisfaction. Nicole says this meeting was useful and she might want to keep seeing Marlena. She's hopeful about her recuperation and the new year. After Leo's left, Eric gets back to the square with solid treats, yet Sloane's visa was declined. Leo walks through the square with shopping sacks. Eric is considering returning to photography because children are expensive. Sloane likes the idea a lot. Eric has never been so blissful. He had high hopes for fatherhood. Sloane shares this sentiment and is confident that nothing will ever harm them. Afterward, Leo moves toward the Salem Motel with one more arrangement of shopping packs as Johnny passes. Leo inquires as to whether he has any succulent stories to share. At the point when Johnny says no, Leo asks the adorable thing to enjoy New Year's Eve with him. Johnny, who doesn't care, tells him to join a dating site because he wouldn't want to spend the night with him. Plus, he's represented. As he withdraws, Leo sneers and says, we'll see about that. In Kayla's office, she tells Chanel and Paulina the pathology report shows similitudes to disease cells. They need to run more tests. Paulina claims that because she is a warrior, she will deal with whatever comes her way. With such a lot of help and love in her life, she'll get past it, anything that it is. In the basement, Steve takes steps to get the ISA involved on the off chance that Constantine doesn't leave. John lifts Constantine to his feet by his lapels. A look of acknowledgement washes over Constantine as he concentrates all over. Dark Fix hauls Constantine back to the recreation area seat, allowing him multi-week to escape Salem. Alone, Constantine says, those eyes. I know those eyes. He glimmers to John getting him. Might it at any point truly be him? In the basement, Steve lets John know that on the off chance that they didn't break through to Constantine, they must choose the option to take it to a higher level. In a gripping moment, Nicole poured out her soul to Marlena, laying bare the emotions that had long been concealed within her. Tears glistened in her eyes as she revealed a confession, a deeply personal revelation that had weighed heavily on her heart. Marlena, with her empathetic presence, provided a compassionate ear, bridging the gap between secrecy and vulnerability. Meanwhile, in a parallel narrative, Constantine experienced a sudden recognition of John. However, the source of familiarity remained shrouded in mystery, casting an enigmatic shadow over the revelation. The unexpected connection between Constantine and John raised questions, leaving both characters and the audience on the edge of anticipation. As the dual narratives unfolded, emotions ran high, weaving a complex tapestry of revelations, connections, and the delicate threads that bind these characters together in the intricate web of their intertwined lives. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.